All right, and we are live back here at the BKN Foundation honoring the wonderful Dr. Robert Gallo for his continued work and research and making sure that we are aware of what's taking place in the area of HIV and AIDS. And we have his esteemed colleague, Dr. Blattner with us as well. And I am honored, I am between wisdom, excellence, power, humanity, and tonight is all about the work that you all have done. So Dr. Gallo, welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice to be here, a lot, lots of fun, a lot of great people, and I'm uh, proud to be with this foundation. So is the, my colleague, Dr. Bladner. I want to say a word about him. He's involved a lot in Africa for helping with HIV and AIDS, uh, especially uh, in Nigeria, rather than Cameroon, I must say. But, uh, you know, but his interests are everywhere in the continent. So uh, our institute in Baltimore has a lot of interactions with programs in uh, doing things with African colleagues to help Amazing. in the HIV epidemic. But we have enough of our problems we're actually right in Baltimore and in Washington as well. I'm sure that we yeah. do. I'm sure that we do. So now your work, you've been working and doing and working in this industry for now over 30 years. And what what was the spark that, that put you on on this movement? Because it's well, a movement that you've done. Yeah, I think the beginning is was just just a competitive drive at the beginning like you know here's a big problem no one understands it and you know yeah I think we could help understand it Amazing. it was like that you know and so it, it was like you think you can do something I had no idea it would be this important I mean the disease would be this important I had no idea that it would be this bad mm -hmm. this uh, many people suffering and dying uh, at that time it was just here's a new problem uh, I think we could help solve that problem and understanding the cause of it yes. you know and getting a blood test for it. But I, I had no no notion it would become such an astronomical global problem. So. Well, I'm glad that you did just that because it's very important that we actually have those blood tests done. I know I make sure I have mine done every year. And so it's it's very important for me. And you know I've lost some family members to AIDS and I have a sister that's right now living with um, AIDS. So from? I'm from New York originally, but I'm, I'm living here in Maryland now. And so my work is in a different area, but I'm just honored to stand and I thank you for all the work that well, you've thanks, done. Thank I you. thank you. Thank you for bringing it to the attention of people and helping uh, spread the proper words around about it. Thank, Thank you. you, nice to be with you. Thank you. And so Dr. Bladner, tell us a little bit about what's the passion in your heart that, that drives you to make sure that you can make a difference in the continued research? Well, it's really, um, when, you, when you go to um, West Africa and you see the uh, impact in the lives of people, yes. and you get to know people just like our patients in, in, in Baltimore, each one has a story. Okay. Um, you realize that every life is important. Yes, indeed. And so uh, when Dr. Gallo uh, took the challenge, I mean, his colleague um, Jim Curran, who was one of the pioneers in the uh, AIDS epidemic in the beginning, came up to NIH and he said, Bob, we're the virologist. Mm. And Bob said, well, I'm going to do this. And it was interesting at that time, okay. there were many universities, many eminent people who were invited to the table, okay. and they were afraid. Wow. The, they, the universities wouldn't let uh, blood samples from these patients come into their university. Uh, they wouldn't let their scientists work on it, and Dr. Gallo said, well, I'm, not, I'm not standing back from this. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring my expertise. Okay. And we started our work together back in 1976, 75, okay. and we worked uh, throughout that period, uh, through the beginning, the discovery of the first human retrovirus. I'll share a little bit of this in my talk tonight uh, so people can understand this convergence of um, lives of people yes. and uh, how science can make a difference. It truly can make a difference. What would you say is the next the next step in continuing and to bring greater awareness and to continue to heighten the research that you all are currently doing right now? Well, I, I think that the um, the greatest challenge we have right now is a vaccine, but that's not going to happen tomorrow. Okay. But in fact, in a sense, we have a vaccine through treatment. Okay. Uh, and so it's a matter of figuring out how we can deliver treatment which will eliminate the virus from the blood okay. and thus cut down on transmission and allow people to live. And people don't appreciate the role that Dr. Gallo played in the discovery of the drugs. Uh, mm -hmm. It was his lab that really uh, uh, developed the techniques that were used to screen the original drugs, and he's on the original papers uh, related to the first drug for HIV. Amazing. So uh, I'll share a lot of these details. 
Amazing. Well, I thank you both for being with me this evening. Dr. Gallo, it's a pleasure to meet you. Honor, sir. Dr. Bachman, thank you so very much.